knows a lot about all kinds of stuff, Professor Dave explains. After learning the imperfect indicative of the first and second conjugations, conjugating the imperfect for the third and the fourth will be very easy. In fact, the rule for the imperfect will be identical, and that is present stem plus ba plus personal endings. In the third, the short e from the infinitive is lengthened to a long e. In the fourth, however, the present stem will be formed with ie instead of simply keeping the i, giving the form audiebam instead of the expected audibam. Once you have the correct stem, adding the known infix ba and the personal endings will be very simple. As we recall, the translation will imply a progressive action in the past, like I was reading and I was hearing, or a repetitive action also in the past, like I used to read and I used to hear. Let's see the full conjugations side by side. Lego legere. Legebam. Legebas. Legebat. Legebamus. Legebatis. Legebant. Audio audire. Audiebam. Audiebas. Audiebat. Audiebamus. Audiebatis. Audiebant. The third conjugation of io verbs like capio capere will look very much like the fourth conjugation verbs, so let's look at that one too. Capiebam. Capiebas, capiebat, capiebamus, capiebatis, capiebant. For a comprehensive list of verbs in io, you may want to check the earlier tutorial on the present indicative of the fourth conjugation and verbs in io. You will find verbs like cupio, cupere, fugio, fugere, facio, facere. Now let's look at some examples in the imperfect tense. Pueri dormiebant. Pecuniam non reperiebant. Atleta sitiebat. Aves in agris canentes audiebamus. Venditor in forum veniebat. Semper magno cum timore incipiebam dicere. Let's check comprehension. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.